So, The Flash. Uh, yeah, uh, Pay the Piper was the title. Can you guess uh, what descriptive word I could use for it? Yeah. Starts with an F and rhymes with thrower. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't thrilling at all. Uh, uh, just a bunch of scenes of people telling each other to believe in themselves, you know. You know I love you. you know, be, be who you were meant to be. And, One after another in his wallet was. Uh, the only interesting little tidbits was they uh, retconned one of their storylines uh, because of the crisis. They learned that uh, Pied Piper's boyfriend got injured by the Flash in, in, in an incident that had happened in the in the series, but it went differently because the boyfriend wasn't there. Now, Pied Piper, ha I believe, is a character who's been established as gay in the comics for quite some time, so that's not really a new thing or anything they shoehorned in for the purposes of virtue signaling in the TV show anyway. Maybe they did it for the comics at the time. I, I really don't know a whole lot about Pied Piper and uh, maybe it's one of these characters who didn't have much of a backstory. It was just a, the villain for the a different uh, issue of Flash comics. And then all of a sudden now, you, you know, oh, yeah, guess what? <laughs> so his boyfriend was one of his henchmen and uh, got zapped about the Flash's lightning. And he had some, uh, you know, sound wave device weapon and it went off. And so now he's in a constant state of. I don't know, vibration flux or whatnot in and out of existence almost there. And he's just stuck like that. And he's been pretty much stuck in a chamber all that time. And now, um, well, Godspeed shows up just to show up. Somehow has speed powers, which I, I don't really understand how. I guess he was utilizing sound technology as well, whatever. And that's the more interesting aspects, but it's so quick and fast. They don't really deal with it. They're too busy emoting to one another through the most of the show. Uh, so eventually they do figure out how to save the boyfriend, but the, the main thing is, is they need the Pied Piper's help to defeat, uh, Godspeed. So you get some flash fighting. I don't know how the flash is able to do all of this when it, in the past he's been shown to kind of burn out rather quickly. So he does here, but it takes a while. Um, <laughs> But, you know, that's about, it's all very brief. There's a couple of uh, some interesting, cool scenes there, but it's it's not, doesn't do anything to save the show. And so Pied Piper comes, saves him, and they, they defeat Godspeed, and then realize, oh, Godspeed's blood is uh, full of this uh, sound wave isotopes, whatever, I can't remember. Uh, and they go, oh, that's the solution. And so they use it to save uh, uh, Pied Piper's boyfriend. Uh, they're both vicious criminals, but they just let them walk away hand in hand, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you go be a better you so uh, they do that and uh, now they think they have a solution i'm guessing as a part of this for the uh the speed force they need to build and then suddenly cisco says i know what the answer is and uh i'm gonna go get it from atlantis <laughs> so he just won't be on the show for a while uh and that's why he's in atlantis um it, uh, it's terrible. Uh, they show some scenes of Iris trapped in the mirror world. And, of course, Camilla's there as well. And uh, Iris is slowly going insane now. She begins to realize this is how uh, Eva uh, went nuts because she was stuck in there. And eventually the, it, it affects you. It messes with your mind and all that sort of stuff. And she's been there longer than Camilla. So Camilla hasn't quite succumbed to it yet. Uh, but so there you go. The, uh, the clock's ticking. Can the Flash save her before she's no longer the same person anymore? I don't know. Meanwhile, Camilla, uh, I, I I must have missed this, but I, her original original job was she uh, she was attending bar at a place called Liquid Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> they must have mentioned it. I don't know how I missed that, but so yeah, you can think of another term for that. <laughs> God, I, how did they miss? How did I miss it? How did they miss it? I, I don't know, but uh, that's about it. Uh, this this was crap, and uh, uh, I think the next episode is the last one. So this was just a wasted, wasted season. Um, 
yeah, of course, the crossover, which are always bad, was pretty awful, even though it's Crisis on Infinite Earths and the concepts and whatnot, uh, some things they could weave, but it's just sort of tossed aside as a joke. And then for things like this to uh, set up uh, an, an emotional interaction for uh, a very angry Pied Piper, who then is very grateful that they gave him back the man he loved. Yeah. So that's it. That's uh, all it is. I mean, uh, it's... It, Say it's like it's more a soap opera dialogue, but without the soap opera. You know, I mean, it just, <laughs> it's not even good enough for that. So, oh God, this has got to be the worst season for The Flash. And it's a shame. Uh, some of the cast, <laughs> the core cast, uh, are good and they're wasted on this. Uh, boy, I tell you, that, that girl, I, I'm sure she's a nice lady and everything, but the one that is doing the Mad at Daddy act for Nash, and uh, she she's... She's really bad. She can't. Act. Camilla is like a, a few fraction uh, uh, of points ahead of her, but not by much. So, ah, geez, you know, I, I don't know why they think they need that large of a cast. Just keep the good ones and uh, write the other ones out. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I guess it's not happening. Uh, so, anyway, there you go. Pay the piper. Yeah. Well, not so much. Thank you for watching and listening. Say, why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my many stores that have plenty of goodies for you. Most notably, my comic book, Night Night, over at IndiePlanet.com. Oh, yeah. And you can catch my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, over at RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos over at BitChute.